Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio. Or actually, today I'm in the Royal Examiner conference room. <laughs> so we'll see how that is today. Uh, we're here with Ronald Haas Feldhauser. Ron is with the volunteer, Front Royal Volunteer Fire Department. And we're here today, we're going to talk about Operation Santa Claus and some other things uh, that the fire department has scheduled for the Christmas, uh, New Year's holidays. So tell us what's going on. Yes, Mike. The fire department has operated Operation Santa Claus now for 45 years. This is where Santa Claus drives all around um, everywhere. Christmas Eve, Santa Claus in the back of the fire truck. Oh, they love it. Throwing out candy and goodies to the children as they go by. Right. This started in 1974. Uh, we had a bingo program going then, and we had some oranges and boxes of candy that we used for gifts to the bingo players left right. over. So C. Warren Turner, who was the fire chief, uh, and a member uh, of the department, uh, another member of the department, and myself, rode around on the brush truck right after that and gave out the candy and oranges that were left over to some families that needed. Sure. Um, I borrowed a Santa Claus suit from Frank Hines, who was the manager of J.J. Newberry's at the time. I remember J.J. Newberry. Yes. We'd go down there and have lunch with Patty Rittenhouse. She worked <laughs> down there, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, and that, that started the program. Uh, the next year we did the same thing, and when, we, when I approached Frank about borrowing his Santa Claus suit, the store suit, uh, which he was very generous about, he said, sure, and I have some extra candy. Do you all want it? Well, of course we did. Sure, sure. Uh, and that's, we'll find the home for it. That started the program. Right. And it has been running every year since then. I was the Santa Claus up until 1978. My son then, my oldest son, Brian, was two, and I decided that it, it was not, I had to stay home for Christmas Eve. Right. And since then, other members have taken it over. Back in the day, uh, Sean Markey, Steve Markey, and Tony Markey headed it up, and it expanded to three fire trucks, three Santas, covering all of Front Royal. And we cover the front, town of Front Royal, the entire part of it. Some other fire departments in the, in the area that are volunteer have also developed a program like this and they cover their first two areas, wherever right. they are. Um, but it takes three fire trucks and about three hours on Christmas Eve. There are probably five people on each piece of apparatus. Right. So 15 members of the community are giving up their Christmas Eve for Operation Santa Claus. Well, I know. We look, we hear that. We, we listen for it. And we hear it coming, and the kids go crazy. Well, not even now. They're 40-year-olds, oh, yeah. and they look for it. And they then the grandkids, it. you know, they, they, it's, really a, it's, it's really something. People really, really get into that. We didn't realize how important this was or how big of a deal it was right. until we got a new junior member of the department. And he was all excited. He said, man, when I was growing up, this was the thing. We had to go to bed after Santa Claus came by. That's right. That's right. And families look forward to this. So yeah. it's a program that continues. However, we, uh, we have never used operational funds for Operation Santa Claus. Right. It's not part of firefighting or rescue work. So we, we rely on donations. Um, the donations have come from businesses and individuals. Uh, Sandy Strickler and uh, Crystal Welch are two members of the community, they're not in the fire department, right. who have collected candy for us and some donations. Uh, and there, there are pe very generous people in the community that donate to Operation Santa Claus that let us get all the candy that we need. And Northwestern Community Services We'll bag the, we'll take the candy up there in bulk, and they'll bag the candy in baggies, and then we get it and put it on fire trucks and ride around. The yeah, we're not town. throwing it out loose anymore. No, no, <laughs> it's all in baggies. Um, well, this is a plug. If you want to help volunteer, send some cash over to the volunteer fire department for this. 
uh, we're not going to hide the fact you're looking for. You, you, you'll take some more donations. Oh, oh we, we take more donations. Oh, yeah. uh, it's expensive. You'd be surprised how much diesel fuel it takes to run three engines oh. for three hours. Yeah. Um, and, that, and hot cocoa and donuts too. I mean, we got to have that. <laughs> there are a couple families who who we stop at that will feed and let the firemen use the bathroom, that sort of thing. Right. Right. We also have uh, another. It's not necessarily part of the operation but there are some families that will come down and make a donation and leave a present and Santa Claus will stop at that house and give the little child the present oh there that's right um, it is it, it is good it's it's really fine when it works the problem is is that that apparatus and those fire people the members of the department are on duty sure so if an emergency comes in, they're gone. Right, right. So that package fire, may not... The fire department has a priority. I mean, yes. Santa Claus is important, but not as important as their, their primary duty. Absolutely. And occasionally the packages do not get delivered. So it's not something you want to put the big gift in. Right, 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 right. But we'll, we do that. Well, you do the best you can do. Yes. But uh, it doesn't hurt to... Uh, get some more donations because you can do more. Oh, we can do, yes, definitely. Uh, Brad Kresge and Joey Starcher have each been doing Operation Santa Claus for 30 years now. Wow, wow. And they'll be out this Christmas Eve. That's a lot of Christmas Eves to give up with your family. Yeah. Well, they they have a bigger family now. They have a community of Front Royal. Front Royal yes, I'm sure they, they've uh, made a lot of kids and parents happy. It's always good. With the earlier you come, the earlier they can go to bed. <laughs> right. That's true, too. Uh, and we, we hit every street in the town. You do. You definitely do that. Yeah. I know. So, so what else is cooking? I know you have a couple more notes here. We, uh, <laughs> so we're going to have some more Santa Claus uh, programs. We, we have another uh, little thing we do with Santa Claus, Breakfast with Santa. This will be on Saturday this coming Saturday. The 13th. Is that the 13th? 14th. 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 Okay. They're at the firehouse upstairs. Uh, we start serving breakfast at, or they start serving breakfast at 7 a.m. and to 11. You can come up, have a all you can eat breakfast, uh, picture taken with Santa free. Uh, the adults are $7. Children, children are four. If you can read your writing? If I could read my writing, I'd tell you what the your age arm's was. Not, your age is... Uh, let me see if I can read this note here. Let me see what you got here. And under seven are free, I know yeah. that. Yeah. Well, I can't read it either. Um, and you get a free picture with Sam. Well, there you go. Uh, I go up and eat breakfast with him. Now, I have another duty selling Christmas trees for the Boy Scouts. That's right, right. We so I, I don't help with the breakfast. But I go up and eat breakfast. And I've asked several times to sit on Santa Claus's lap, and he won't let me. I wonder why. I don't know. I think we need to get a new <laughs> Santa. <laughs> that the, we talked last week at the Boy Scout uh, Christmas tree uh, sales sales over there at Royal Plaza, and it was just hard to believe that you guys have been doing that for fifty-one years. Fifty-one years for that, and forty-five years for Operation Santa Claus. Well, we have some really good volunteers in our community. Yes, we do. People that want to make the community. A, a great place to live and raise their kids. This is mm -hmm. this is the kind of thing that happens that that really makes the community a community and people remember these things like you said all through their childhood and then into adulthood and, and uh, they just remember things like this that had an impact on them. Small little things that only happen for five minutes. Right. You know, that truck zoom, doesn't, doesn't last. Um, it doesn't go slow. No. <laughs> we, and we, we can't turn around and go back if, if you didn't if the children didn't get out in time, right. uh, we really can't turn around and go back. Right. So there's no point in calling the firehouse and say, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, But we do hit every street. And that siren's going, so when you listen for the siren, uh, get on out the door, because it's a coming. The siren goes everywhere, but when they get near a church, they'll quit blowing the siren. Uh, if they're having a Christmas Eve service, right, they don't right. want to interrupt it if they, if they can avoid it. So that happens, but... We do blow the siren, let the kids know we're coming. And the yeah, and I can hear you blocks away. Blocks away. <laughs> we, we start looking for the lights. Yeah. Down, flowing down the thing. Uh, but this this program started with a simple gesture 
to to spread some of the leftover from bingo, mm -hmm. and now it's worked itself into a pretty big operation. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah. great. Well, we really appreciate all the things you do, and also all the things that the the fire department, the volunteer fire department, uh, and that's another thing. The volunteer fire department is looking for volunteers. Definitely, it, all it's, the time. Uh, it's changing a lot. I mean, the rules have changed, and uh, you know. It, it's hard for guys like us to get in the fire department anymore. I mean, you you, you kind of grandfathered in, but yeah. it's uh, they've changed the rules. Uh, but it's still there's always something to do at the fire department. There we need help from operations to fundraising to just being there administration, just being there. Yeah, yeah, we need it. That's great. And there's always something to do. Definitely. And them trucks need polished. I'm telling you, they need the wax on and the wax, wax off. off. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's great. I think the fire department does a great job. Uh, we want to look forward to Operation Santa Claus again this year. And that's on Christmas Eve. And uh, I know when that is. That's December 24th, right? Right. right. <laughs> when do you start? About what time? Uh, Nine o'clock? As soon as it gets dusk. Oh, oh okay. As soon as it gets so dusk, early they start. And, oh, early. And, yeah. and they, they, well, Santa's got to get moving and get him out of town. Yeah, he's got to get out of town. He can't be just staying in Front Royal the whole time. Right. And we tried to... Well, they start at dusk and they try to get done by nine thirty. Yeah, ish. Not too late. Yeah. So it's not too late. All right. All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. That's December twenty fourth, and then on this coming Saturday, Saturday. the fourteenth, at the fire department, uh, mm -hmm. breakfast with Santa. Mm -hmm. Sounds right. like a lot of good things going on. Yes, and I know sir. you have something going on for bingo on New Year's. Are you doing that again? We're doing all night bingo on New Year's Eve. Um, it is very popular, and we fill up quick. You need okay. to buy your tickets. So get your tickets early. Well, you got you got breakfast with Santa, Operation Santa, and all night bingo. bingo. Yep. What more could you ask for? Busy time, and we run still run twenty four seven operation. That's right. You can't. That's right. Bingo might get delayed if we get a fire. Right. Right. <laughs> well, good, Ron. It's nice talking to you again. Nice talking to you. Appreciate it, uh, and uh, we'll see you uh, maybe as it gets a little closer. We'll. We'll talk about some more things. Okay. All right. All right. Thank Thanks you. again.